Tia, five years ago on this very weekend, the single greatest blessing of my life walked by me on the side of the street. Amidst a crowd of thousands of people during a national holiday parade, the one encounter, the one moment that changed the rest of my life took place in a few minute conversation. I love your heart. I love your caring nature and compassion for others. I love your ambition and eagerness to experience life's many adventures. I love your beauty, intelligence, curiosity, and openness to trying new things. I love you and choose you every day for the rest of my life. Josh, five years and one day ago, you stood before me as a stranger on the street. Today, you stand before me and are about to become my husband. Shortly before we met, I told my mom I couldn't imagine spending my whole life with someone or that someone would want to spend their whole life with me. You instantly became my best friend, my steady rock, my shoulder to cry on. You became my one to share stories with, create memories with, and go through life with. You are the kind of man I could have only dreamed about being with. You are intelligent, motivated, devoted, hardworking, honest, loving, and caring. I have never doubted the way you feel for me or if the love you feel for me is genuine. You show me through your commitment to me and devotion to making me happy every day. Hey, you look beautiful. I love it. I love the dress. Yeah. You look amazing. So beautiful. He says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. I promise a life of devotion to you, to love you unconditionally, and to encourage and support you in all of your dreams and goals, still and forever as my best friend, but from this day forward as my wife. I am no one special, just a common person with common thoughts. I've led a common life. There are no monuments dedicated to me and my name will someday be forgotten. But in one aspect, I've succeeded as gloriously as anyone who's ever lived. I've loved another with all my heart and soul. And for me, that has always been enough. And that is the love I vow to give to you. I now pronounce you husband and wife, Josh, you may kiss your bride. Josh, I've always admired you as my older brother. Uh, that constant competition I had towards you all those years was me just trying to be more like you. And then there came Tia. I met Tia for the first time on my 21st birthday in Austin, Texas, where I live today. I remember thinking, who is this new blonde babe that my brother couldn't keep his eyes off of? <laughs> but in all seriousness, Josh, I'm so glad you found Tia. She's exactly what you needed. Tia, you've made me very happy, and your mother, Gigi, very proud. And Josh, I know you made your parents very proud. So I want to wish you both a long life of happiness and prosperity. Only bless.
bless you the way I've been blessed. But most importantly, I ask that you keep Christ in focus in your life. He'll give you all of the things he knows you need. And if you keep him in focus, he will take you to heaven for a permanent salvation and love to spend for all eternity. I want to raise a toast to you guys. May your marriage be filled with love and your home with happiness. May you be blessed with many children and teach them always, always to finish well. Cheers. I've never seen you as happy as you are with Josh. It truly is heartwarming to see how much you two love and support each other. Josh, I want to welcome you to our family. We are happy that you are part of our lives now. I know that you and Tia will have an amazing life together filled with love, laughter, and endless adventures. So let's raise a glass to the beautiful newlyweds. I wish you the happiest life together and full of love. I love you both.